Hey everyone, Mary Meet. This is Anastasia Autumnfire, and today is the 21st day of 30 days of Samhain crafting. Tonight, I watched The Nightmare Before Christmas with my family, and it was just such an awesome feeling. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas has always kind of been one of my favorite Halloween movies. My daughter now absolutely loves it. She's watched it like three nights in a row. So, um, in honor of that movie, I decided to make a more whimsical and Halloween-y um, craft for tonight. I made an herbal blend um, here that I call the Pumpkin King. Um, it is, of course, I put away my notes because I'm brilliant. Oh, there they are. Sorry. Hold on just two seconds. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um... It's a blend of pumpkin spice, which in it has cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and cloves. Um, I am counting that as one of my herb, herbs or spices since it's in one container, but it abs actually is like five different spices. But um, it, it just, it's all good. It felt right. It, it, it has the pumpkin scent. As well as, um, which, which was really why I went with it. But then to find out it had cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and cloves. That's what makes it up. Those are all energies I wanted to work with. Cinnamon I absolutely love. Um, it's got great protection. It boosts energy in any magical working. It also enhances creativity. Um, ginger fastens magic. Nutmeg is good for luck. Allspice. Um, again, kind of boosts energy and adds determination to any working. And cloves is good for banishing negativity and gaining what is sought. Uh, then I added some calendula. Uh, this helps dreams come true and gives strength. I also had a mixture of cedar and sage. So again, I counted that as one. And that is for um, the sage aids with granting wishes and protection. Uh, cedar also helps with protection and healing, um, and it, uh, cedar also helps with uh, self-confidence or self-esteem. I then added some passion flower for love, and I also added it for passion, not just like the passion between two lovers, although, you know, Jack has his Sally. It, it was more in the idea of finding your passion, following your passion. Um, kind of like how Freya is the goddess of passion. Not only does that work with her sensuality, but it also is about finding what makes her tick. Finding the things that she loves. Um, marjoram uh, for happiness. Mint also for happiness and creativity. Elderflowers are a connection to the dead. Jack is a skeleton, af a skeleton after all. Uh, rosemary. Again, helps with that connection to the dead. Also adds focus, which if we know Jack, he definitely needed to focus. And um, also helps with transformation, which in the movie, um, he does go through quite a bit of transformation. Um, the reason for this blender, the intent in this blend... Oh my goodness, I almost forgot the oil. Sorry about that. I also added my um, self-love oil to this and um, some amber. Amber is really good for deflecting negativity and bringing in positivity and self-love because it just worked, worked for this. Um, the intent behind this blend is to kind of guide the person when they feel kind of at a crossroads you aren't finding the happiness that you used to find in the everyday activities. You're struggling to um, find that spark that you once had. Because um, in the movie, that's what it's about. He He's bored being the Pumpkin King. He's bored with Halloween. He wants something new. He needs to find that that next thing. And in taking over, Chris in taking over Christmas... He does find that and, and then kind of makes a muck of it, but fixes it in the end, or Santa Claus does at least. 
and um and then he's able to realize wait i i still do have this passion for halloween i am still the pumpkin king i am still able to have this kind of enjoyment in my everyday life i just need to approach it from a different angle and that is what this incense or this herbal blend is supposed to help with um i did take that blend and add it to a votive candle i again did the eric silver moon uh, technique of rolling it in the herbal blend and then I did my traditional drip um, I used a white candle um, good for all purposes um, and then the black for protection um, I also had a very much a much more superficial reason for using black and white Jack Skellington is a skeleton and is mostly white and wears a black and white suit so <laughs> those were the colors I wanted to work with and then um, I also added a bit of the herbal blend around the ring, dripped more wax on top of that. We have my three stones for Samhain. I've got clear crystal quartz here. Sorry, I'll bring that up a little. Clear crystal quartz there, amethyst there, and carnelian there. Um, I went with the clear crystal because I wanted to boost the power, not so much. It's not so much about grounding. Um, and then I added a lot more than I thought I had done. <laughs> I, I meant to do a smattering of um, the glitter of black and orange just to kind of give it that pumpkin-y flair, but a bit more orange came out than I anticipated. Um, this candle will probably get burned, but it will probably cause a bit of an issue. If you try to do a drip candle or anything with the herbs around, even this, it's a bit too close for my liking, too close to the wick. You don't want to smother the wick, it'll end up just kind of going out. I know I've said that in another can. I think in my Ancestor candle I said that as well. Um, so we'll see when I burn it how it goes. Um, this is actually a little jack-o'-lantern um, votive holder that I got from the State Fair this year, hand-painted. And it's a jack-o'-lantern from one of my favorite little shops at the State Fair. So I thought that would be perfect to house my little um, Jack the Pumpkin King votive to aid me in refocusing my energies and making sure that I'm looking at when the glass is appearing half empty, I can just kind of relook at that glass and figure out a new way to look at it, so to speak. Anyway, so that was my craft for tonight. Something a bit more fun, a bit more whimsical, and, and it really, it felt right for tonight. Um, just because it is such a connection to me with my family. And Samhain, I, I know I get caught up in working with ancestors. I know I get caught up in honoring the deities that I, I work with and kind of taking pause to go inward and focus on me and what I need to do, what workings I need to do. And we all kind of get caught up in the magic of the season and the veil thinning and all the magic and mystical things that this time of year brings but I think definitely a point we need to also focus on is family I I I just I feel like I, I mean the ancestors are our family as well but focusing on the here and now um, I know especially with my major and goddess hell that's one of the lessons that I've read from many people, and I'm finding myself as well working with her, it's not so much about learning to deal with death once it's here. It's about living life while you can. And that's what this craft was really about at the heart of it. At its heart, it's about enjoying that time with family having those moments of just nerdy inspiration and reveling, revel, reveling in it. There's the word. Um, so yeah, so that's my craft. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I hope you guys have a wonderful Back to the Future day and have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.